All right, there's a working soundboard. There we go. Hey, how's everyone doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, yes, OBS did get an update. I actually updated it ahead of um, the release. They are releasing in version 28. So if you're a streamer, that might matter to you. If you're not, um, it might break some stuff for some streamers maybe at some point. But um, I, I know tech, you know. I'm not afraid of technical issues on this, this stream. So I fixed it all up right there. Um, yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, what's up, Have Abbott, Split Gear, Pistachiola, uh, Res Cats, um, and is that everyone here so far? I think so. Yes, I believe that's everyone so far. Yes. So yeah, welcome everyone. Mabank, welcome as well. How you doing? We do a quick ping there because my bot is not working apparently. That's also oh, that's also kind of nice, but I can also fix that at some point soon. It's all right if Duxu bot takes a bit of a break for a day, I suppose. Um. I can change it right now. Boom. Done. Fixed. Easy. Easy peasy. All right. Yeah, so welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing some Bound Network 3 today, as usual. A uh, bit of a shorter stream. I did start a little bit late due to work stuff. But before we do that, before we do that, um, so Gamescom. Who watched Gamescom today? <laughs> um... Who watched some fucking Gamescom? Because holy shit. Um, it bored the hell out of me. The, the Jeff Keighley show a little bit. You know? Um, but there was one thing. There was one thing that was there that was interesting. Um, so to speak. It was very, very interesting. Um, and it wasn't, um, it wasn't Cave Story. We're just using this as background music, it's fine. <laughs> but, um... So, uh, there's a lot of games, I mean, there's Sonic, right? And on the topic of Sonic, by the way, there's apparently, um... If any of you are VTuber fans... I think Sonic is, uh, getting a... Iganumi Corone... Pre-order bonus? For Frontiers? <laughs> let me, uh... Let me show up here and just show you guys one second. Uh, let me see here. Where is it? Where is it? Does Frontier still look like shit? Uh, yeah, it, it kind of does. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, whenever we saw raise more questions than answers, which is a, both a good and bad thing, I feel like. But, um... Yeah. So, apparently in Japan, there's pre-order bonus stuff for, uh... <laughs> for for frontiers, that's just literally con uh, Corone, um, all live VTuber, of course. So the first one, you get her voice apparently replaces um, the sound effects. I guess Sonic's voice. Like these are different stores here. The second one, you get like a panel. The third one, you get like drip. You get gloves and shoes and stuff. And the uh, the fourth one, you get like the uh, the Corone Suke, which is like basically her chat representation. Replacing the, uh, the Coco things that they, uh, they, I think they teased today as well. So that was also pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know about, um, I don't know about, you know, the game itself. Like, it, it looks fine. Um, Sonic Forces also look fine in the trailers. So, I mean, I can't, I can't really say much about that at this point. Um, Amy's apparently a thing and also, um... Also, I noticed that there's a bit of a trend with uh, these games. These games here, really, really, really trying to uh, dig into this whole, you know, corrupted arm aesthetic. Cause, Cause Sonic has this too now. So Sonic has this now, just corrupted arm thing. Look, it's fucking Breath of the Wild. It's fucking Breath of the Wild right here. <laughs> Maybe the sound effects are just like homemade, yeah, like mouth sound effects. That'd be fucking funny. Yeah, that'd be good. But yeah, you have this, right? And then you have like, <laughs> you got Breath of the Wild, right? I mean, it's it's like the, uh, the, the similarities are fucking uncanny, aren't they? Like you got this, you got this, you got Sonic over open world, you got Breath of the Wild open world, right? This is what the church warned you about? Yeah, do not sin with your hands. Yeah, this is what happens when you sin, everyone, with your hands. You gotta cut them off. <laughs> I think that's what the Bible actually says at some point, but... 
Corrupted arms are a good aesthetic, though. They are. What's up, Marlon and Wimit? How you doing? So yeah, between this and also the Corona uh, pre-order bonuses, I don't know. Maybe the pre-order bonuses are gonna be better than the actual game, because I want to like fucking run around and uh, and like hear Corona's fucking voice <laughs> in place of Sonic sometimes. That seems like a, a vast improvement. Can you cut off your arm and get a, a cool magic one? I wish. I fucking wish. But also, um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is this thing here. So, we have, of course, car on stage. <laughs> Marlo's here, by the way. So, car talk, of course. Uh, car on stage. Car on stage. Thanks, Jeff, I guess. Uh, it, it's like a... It's like a mini, I think they call it. I don't know shit about cars. Like, they just called it a mini, right? Um, but this fucking car... And let me let me show you the uh, the the video too, actually, because the car is important. And, and this is today's uh, this is today's tech talk for uh, that battle network streams. We do one every single week. Uh, Pokemon mini car. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the trailer. Take a look. <laughs> Fucking Jeff Keeley, bring us the good shit once again. All right, I'm over here at the mini booth with Oliver. This is the mini concept Aceman reveal. This looks so cool. I'm glad you like it. Well, let's take a look and learn more in this trailer. Thanks, Jeff. So it's a car, but it's Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, these Pokemon trios always have these like weird like pop culture things. It's an Aceman, yeah. So, so yeah, the um the dash is just like. A Pokeball, right? And I think they were telling this as like, oh, this this car has, um, this, this car is a character. It's not just a car, you know? So we can like build an emotional attachment oh, to your car, so cool. which is I always a bad idea. For you, Oliver, uh, first of all, I want to ask you about this partnership, uh, a car with gaming features and Pokemon. How did this come together? Yeah, first of all, let's talk about a car with gaming you know, features Gamescom is um, one of the core events of uh, femdom pop culture and as we are ourselves You know when I when I heard him say that I thought he said femdom not fandom Moving on are a part of that <laughs> pop culture. We don't want to miss out such a great event and the Pokemon company <laughs> International and we have a lot in common We're both iconic brands and mini is more than a car. I heard it. I heard it I'm sorry. To explore the world. And the world of Pokemon <laughs> is full of unique characters with special powers. So we share a love for distinctive design. And by the way, yes, this sure just doesn't tell you shit, by the way. I mean, it, it doesn't. Events. Full of unique characters with. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Number keys do that. Saw a little bit in the trailer. Tell us, break it down. Why does this appeal to gamers? So. Is the car a Pokemon? It has Pokemon trapped inside it, Rescats. Apparently. Mode welcomes you inside of the car, and then you can connect your gaming console to your mini. And all so you can connect your gaming console to your car. Like, like why? And I, I think I, I think I have, I have a, I think I have an idea why. Um. If you look back in the uh, the trailer, yeah, if you see here, if you see over there, there's like a little bit of a, of a projector, right? So I guess like the car can like function as a portable projection screen for your outdoor gaming sessions where you need to find a wall somewhere inside a sketchy garage to play your video games. Like, what? <laughs> huh? Hello? Hello? Comes you inside of the car, and then you can connect. And yeah, you can just fucking, yeah, you can just bring a projector, Res Cats. Yeah, yeah. When it says fucking concept cars are the dumbest shit, it's really, like, I don't know much about concept cars, but this is just weird. I don't know. This is like my first exposure to this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, man. You, you could have, yo, Photon has a great point. Photon has an amazing point. We could have actually gotten like the motorcycles of the legendaries from, from uh, Scarlet and Violet, right? That, that would have been a fucking amazing idea. I, I would have taken that. Holy shit. But instead we just got, get, get this weird car. 
What's up, Genghis? Mom, give me the keys. I gotta play Pokemon. I gotta drive to a garage <laughs> or play Pokemon in my garage. <laughs> the Pokemon mode oh my God. inside of the car. And then you can connect your gaming console to your mini. And all mm. you notice is a lot of details referencing mm -hmm. Pikachu in particular. Ah, yes, references. Yes, my sick references. Electric, just like Pikachu ah. is an electric type. So they're a perfect match. Uh, is there an overarching motto to this partnership? So indeed there it is. Um, we asked ourselves the question, what is if a car could connect it with your gaming console? Just like What if a car your, uh, could connect smartphone. to your gaming console? So we are promoting a playful mindset, mm. just like our brand and Pokemon. So our Gamescom claim is mm. play on, never stop playing. Well, speaking of never stop playing, we'll see you <laughs> next year at Gamescom as well. Yeah, we plan to stay in the game and play on for sure, like we always have from the get-go. All right, so, that, so that's, that's the car. So that's the car. Uh, what do you think? Kind of fucking dumb? <laughs> A little bit? The one motorcycle that runs on legs and the other is a jet split. You know, just like, you know, just, just kind of like build a body around like a motorcycle that's like the legendaries, you know? Like, that's pretty simple, right? Playing Pokemon on my concept Pokemon car and dying of carbon monoxide poisoning in the garage. That would be, yeah, a concern, actually. That's a good point as well. The motto is money. Yeah, they just have too... They, first of all, they have too much money to spend on this shit, right? Like, this is just a concept. Like, who's gonna, like, are they actually gonna... Are, gonna, are they actually gonna make this, you know? Would they have to go through all the regulatory bullshit? Because that's like, always the problem with cars. <laughs> the regulations, right? <laughs> Limits uh, car knowledge comes from that one car YouTuber that you watch that loves weird, crappy cars. That sounds fun. And yeah, we don't know what it does. Like, I mean, it's a car, obviously, but like, there's a projector. The, uh, the dash does something. Like, like, do I get to talk to Pikachu on like a daily basis, right? Do I, um, uh, what's, you know, like... Like, like, see, I, I'm struggling to think of ideas here, because, like, what, what can you do with, like, a Pikachu that's virtualized in your computer or your, your car dash, you know? Like, it's like, Pika Pika, you know? It's, it, you're fucking turning the wrong way, asshole. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Your husband was killed in a hit and run by a wild Pokemon car, but don't worry, with criminals, we can catch them all. It's an electric car, yeah, so they put in a projector instead of the engine, right? Yeah. Imagine playing Pokemon in your car for so long that you drain the battery. You can't go to work. Yeah, yeah. So actually, um, there's more here, sadly enough. So the actual um Oh my fucking god, is is this the Gamescom? Is is this the Gamescom display for this car? Hold on one second. So they have it inside, like, like a collectible box thing. Let me see if we can, yeah, zoom that down. There we go. But this is what it looks like at Gamescom. Yeah, this is, you have like a little box. <laughs> oh my god. It's cute, yeah, it's cute. I like it. Now, is there any more information here? Let's see. Surprise announcement. What is this? Is this Sakurai's cat? Oh shit. Oh shit, yo, Sakurai's got a fucking uh, YouTube channel now? Oh fuck. Yo, let's go. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to look at that at some point. <laughs> Hell yeah. But going back to this, um. Okay, yeah, so there's a projector, right? Link in chat? I saw the link. Yeah. For Sakurai thing. Okay, yeah, they, they, they're telling us nothing. Oh, link, link the channel? It's, it's literally in the tweet. You can just go to the tweet. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead and sub. Three subs, yeah. Three subs for 1k viewers on the on the most latest video. Yeah, that's definitely right, YouTube. <laughs> it 
So, yeah, there's not gonna be much they're gonna tell us here, right? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is this? I'm just reading- I'm reading this for you guys, just to see if there's anything special. Okay, there's literally no information. Okay, there's nothing in here. There's nothing. Explore our mini-verse? What, what the fuck do you mean? Oh, f Oh, fuck. Mini-verse? Should, should I click this? <laughs> oh, no. A anything with verse is just, like, not okay anymore. <laughs> A universe for cars! Let's see. Hold on, let's see what this is. Welcome! Join the mini-verse. Click your car for social features. Sound will activate upon entering. Okay. What is this? It's very white, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, that's not okay, dude. S sound? <laughs> wait, 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 what, what is this? Is this like some sort of 3D shit? Yeah, turn off the fucking sound. There we go. Yeah, open world car game. Oh my god, you can actually control it. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? what? <laughs> Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> my summer car. It's a, it's a goddamn metaverse thing. Yeah. The uh, uh, what's the point of this though? Like, is it advertising? Oh, oh god, it's janky as hell. Oh god. What's up, Fat Jokes or Lame? How you doing? Oh, uh, link in chat if you want it. There you go. Yeah, let's see what the rings are. Oh yeah, rings! Oh shit! This is actually kind of cool. Oh, like, they actually made this. Like, as a demo. This, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, the water is not really great, though, but... <laughs> You know what? Let's, let's get the uh, let's get the audio here. Wait, what, what's the audio experience for this? Let's see. Oh, it's whirring. What is this? Personal mode. Oh, it, you just learn about stuff, I guess. Okay, yeah. So it's a it's a glorified advertisement, I guess. Okay. Oh shit, you ran over someone's skateboard by accident, fat jokes are Oh fuck, that sucks. Sorry about that. So this is an advertisement, huh? Okay. <laughs> I mean it's it's a lot of effort for a fucking ad. I'll say that. This is uh intriguing. I should not be on Mega Man Bound Network, by the way, but it's fine. I'll get to that soon. Oh, fuck. Missed the portal. Yeah, there's like different locations, too. Welcome to a unique, abstract, and entirely original expression of the mini concept Ace Man. Explore its features and feelings by driving through different neighborhoods and get to know the latest addition to the mini family. Okay, wow. Let's go to Portal Junction. Yeah, it's feelings, yeah. The car's feelings. You can you can date the car. Maybe you can fuck the car too. Who knows? <laughs> this car is your car. Is this like multiplayer? <laughs> like am I gonna see other cars? Fucking weird. There's like boost pads too. Oh, what the hell? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. who the hell is this? Hey. Oh, it is multiplayer. What the fuck? I, I guess it is. Hello? Are you alive? <laughs> I'm in the portal junction. If uh, you want to try and see if this is a world. Yeah, there you go. Is that, is that someone? 
So this is actually like multiplayer? That's you? What the fuck? This is crazy. <laughs> honk honk? There's a honk button. This is actually- oh shit. What the fuck, Chrome? Thanks, Chrome. This is actually like a multiplayer thing. <laughs> this feels like it has more effort than like the Facebook metaverse right now. And it, they made this as like a fucking ad. <laughs> Hello? Wait, what? Uh, is it talking to me? The, f the fuck? What, what is this shit? Uh, what? 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 Oh, 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 there's actually like emojis. Oh, people are typing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's actually chat. Yeah, okay, that's what's happening. So if you like click over your car, you can make noises. <laughs> huh. Now, I don't want to spend the entire stream on this, but... In intriguing? Oh god. Oh god, I fucked up. The car's dead now. Or I fall to the bottom, I have to climb back up, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> Luke, what? What? This is this is our game now, guys. We own this game. This is like dead MMO shit. <laughs> Squad up? I don't know where the fuck I don't know where the hell you are. There's uh, some chat at the top that's getting cut off. One second. Let me, uh... Let me compress this a bit. There we go. I just want to, like, jump into that portal. Oh, God. Hold on. Fuck. Yeah, I know I'm playing an advertisement, but... It's, it's worth it. Can you change car colors? You could probably, uh, like, unlock shit, right? Probably. Oh, look at this place. Honking if you like ducks. There's some cars here. I'm gonna bully them. <laughs> hey, are the, are the cars as indestructible in real life as in this game? <laughs> oh my god. I just thought that car just rammed that dude. Okay, wow. Um Interesting. Oh, there's like balloon world too? What the fuck? Where the hell is- yeah, where's the Pokemon? Come on. I want some goddamn Pokemon here. Let me catch some Pokemon with my cars. And totally not run into them. <laughs> you drove your car into the lake after planes because you thought the mini Ace Man was aquatic? Yeah, it could go underwater. It could just, you know, it's just indestructible, right? <laughs> How do you honk? You click over your car, Mario. And there's, uh, there's an action menu. But, I'm done with that. <laughs> um, I, I didn't fucking expect that. Jesus Christ. Did, did you guys? God damn. <laughs> this car is so niche that no one will be able to, like, repair it. Except for mini brand auto shops. Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> Alright, let's play some Mega Man Battle Network. Um, I didn't expect to play, I, I play an advertisement game, but... You, you learn something new every day, I guess. New experiences. Very weird. <laughs> oh, right, I was here. Okay, hold on, let me, uh, let me jack out one second. So this is the internet, I don't see any World 3 members. Yeah, let's get out of here. Feel free to keep messing around in that, uh, that game, though. If you want. 
That's perfectly fine if you guys want to play those, uh, the, uh, the Adventure Park games there, I suppose. Okay, so last time we, um, we did some more stuff, uh, at the hospital. We, I think the kid we were friends with at the hospital, like, had a heart attack or something. So, <laughs> so that happened. Right, Dex moved away and the kid had, like, a heart attack, so... Yeah, me cool Mega Man Battle Network, uh, you know, a very light-hearted gameplay, right? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, we convinced him to get surgery by getting, like, a chip, which is kind of fucking based, so... It's bedtime! Let's go. I don't have my water. One second. I'm fucking parched right now. The inside of my mouth is a desert. You're all gonna be pissed about that, right? <laughs> no water. Yeah, it, it wasn't an NFT thing, which is cool. I mean, let's see if they are doing NFTs. I wonder. <laughs> they better, they better fucking not be. Okay, so it's Mini Cooper. Okay, I don't see an official one. Okay. I just see, like, random 3D models. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Confirmed. No NFTs. <laughs> Everyone's waiting in suspense right there, huh? It's been three days since we've heard from Mamoru. I hope he hasn't changed his mind. I'm sure he hasn't. He promised us he'd have the surgery. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we'll hear from him soon. Beep, beep, beep. Also, did I say hi to you, Genghis? I think I did. What's up, Genghis? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. The biggest Genghis around. <laughs> Lan, you got mail. Maybe it's Mamoru? No, it's from the hospital. It says... Mamoru's condition has taken a sudden turn for the worse! We will perform an emergency operation today. Oh no, Lan! What? Come on, Mega Man! We have to get to the hospital! Yeah! Oh my god, this, this continues? Fuck, okay, let's go. New car NFT non-functioning tires somehow less wasteful than actual NFTs, yeah. Your friend's gonna have surgery? I hope he's okay. You wanna come with me, Mom? No? Too busy building your- baking your cakes? Hey, mail. What's wrong? Why that expression? Your friend- Your friend is having surgery? That's awful! Well, so what are you doing here? Good point. He's dying, Mom! Don't you care? Now, Lan, let us grown to teach you about something called priorities. What? Your friend is having surgery? You should go be with him. I'm sure he would like that. <laughs> Let's go to school. Hey, kid. There's something missing about Dex around. I guess I'll miss him more than I thought I would. Do we know what he's dying of? He's dying of the same thing I, um, that... What the fuck was his name? Shit, um... Lan's, uh, Lan's brother, uh, had the same condition. Hub, Hub, that's his name. Hub. I don't know what it was called, though. That's some abbreviation. That car game, though, what the fuck? Why was that actually good? <laughs> that was, like, legitimately good, that car... Like online mini game thing. Yeah, but yeah, whatever. The bus, whatever. Fuck you. I'm out of here. So what else was that Gamescom that was actually like memorable? Like, <laughs> I 
Um, I, I guess moving out is getting a sequel. I like my indie games. There's that game by the Subnautica devs that was like painting figures. It was kind of bad initially, but it actually was kind of cool. How you can paint everything. It's, it's like these like... <laughs> These, like, Jeff Keighley presentations are just, like, not engaging. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna have a blast when they do the, uh, the indie game stuff, indie game stuff on Friday, you know? Like, that's what I'm here for. The indies. Listen, listen. That kid in the wheelchair has some kind of attack. I hear they have to carry him into the hot- Oh, yeah, you talked to me this last time, yeah. You the same dialogue after, like, an entire fucking day? But yeah, any, anything from Gamescom that was significant to you guys, because a few hours later, I was like, um, am I going to get any of those? Like, maybe aside from Dead Island, if it's good, you know? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, eh. Those sure are games, right? The kid they carried inside was holding something. It must be something important to him. Hey, you. They're gonna operate on Mamoru very shortly. There isn't much time, but please tell him to be brave. Here we go. Oh, it's the, uh, the bunny. Yeah, Moonbreaker, the, uh... Yeah, that was the figure one, yeah. That seems kinda cool. I'll have to keep an eye on that one. Just cause of the, uh... The figure painting, because it actually is pretty fucking in depth. You get like a whole ton of kind of colors, you get blending and stuff like that. Seems cool. This is the bad ending from the Gamba. What, did I have to like not touch the gambling machine for the good ending? So I have enough money to pay for his operation? I have not, I have not engaged in any Brandon Sanderson stuff at all. <laughs> I have not. I think I'm missing out, am I? I feel like I am. What's it say? The picture of the bunny of a syringe calmed the kids down. Oh, right. Some kids are sick and some older folks are healthy. I guess that's just how it goes. What's up, Mantis? Brandon Sanderson? It sounds like a made-up name. It's like, yeah, just like a sim name, you know? Let me see what he did, let's see. Do I recognize any of these names off their books? This guy's writing a lot of fucking books, holy shit. He's the only epic fantasy writer that can, who can keep a fucking schedule, which is amazing in its own right. Yeah, look at that! I'm, I'm looking at like the, his bibliog bibliography on Wikipedia, and pretty consistent. Maybe I'll check him out. I haven't heard of him before today, actually. <laughs> Maybe I will check him out. Interesting. Tell her she's still recovering and has to take it easy. What nonsense! I'm as fit as a fiddle, you know? I just went for a short jog around the hospital and sprained my fucking ankle. Have I told you guys about how I can't, like, sprain my ankle for some reason? Like, I want to, like, get my foot checked, because it's fucking weird. Like, my foot will- I can land on my foot while running at, like, a 90-degree angle. And I'll- I'll feel, like, nothing afterwards. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, just no after effects. Am I implying that I have a powerful angle? That, that might be it, but, like, I feel like... If my foot goes in that angle, something should happen, you know? <laughs> something. That's strange. The tree is healthy. Maybe too healthy. Really. Powerful woogie feet. I mean, I feel it, like, when it happens, but, like, it's just, like, temporary. That's it. And, like, I can just, like, keep running. 
There's no problem. Wait, I don't I don't know if I'm just like weird or weird or something, which is like, I wanna like I wanna, I wanna get looked at, at I can't talk today, fuck. I wanna get looked at to see if like I'm missing something in there <laughs> or something, you know? Some sort of like nerve or like joint. Mamoru, Mamoru, can you hear me? Uh I'm here with you, so everything's gonna be alright. I'll be okay. I have your chip of friendship. Aw. I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh no. This kid better fucking not die, I swear to god. Mamoru, we'll take you to the operating room now. Nurse, please take good care of him. Of course, we'll do our best. Now then, Mamoru, let's go upstairs. You'll be fine, Mamoru. And this is the only time I'm gonna talk about my feet, because any anytime my feet comes up, there's always a risk it gets weird, so... No more feet talk. <laughs> there he goes, Mega Man! Let's go to the operating room! I wanna stay as close as him as possible. And I skipped the dialogue by accident, fuck, okay. I think he said it was upstairs. No more feet talk, only centimeter talk. My wiki feet article has been updated. I better not have a wiki feet article on there. Don't fucking make it. I swear. So, okay, so, on the topic of cursed shit, right, I know, um, I know the, the whole Tumblr sexy man thing, yeah, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, in advance, like, there's one rule about, like, Tumblr sexy men that, like, they can't be real people, right, but what about VTubers, you know, like, where, where do you draw the line there, you know? Not true, no, it's on, it's on the wiki. Markiplier is not on the, on the Sexy Man wiki. It's like here. On the wiki itself. Which I, I choose to use as a, a source of truth. Wait, it's, it's a legitimate question, right? Like, where is the line drawn there? You know, because like... Most VTubers are, you know, they've got their own sort of like lore, right? And they have like, you know, but they're being driven by a person, right? Right, and like, yeah, yeah, people view them as the characters, but not them, right? But it's it's still being, like, behind the scenes, it's still a person. So that that's the question there, like, where's, where do you draw the line with that? Like, with how, if you can, like, sexy man a VTuber. <laughs> It mostly depends on the person and their connection. I mean, Tom Kenny's in Spongebob. Yeah, like, for me, I think I would probably still fall in under, like, the IRL rule, probably. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's a weird thing with VTubing, right? Where, like, the, the lines kind of blur if you don't make them distinct enough. I guess that's the, uh, the main point there. A lot of YouTubers are also okay with NSFW fan art of the character. Yeah, and, and that's another that's that's another thing as well. Yeah. Um, and for the record, uh, no NSFW of me. Thank you. That that's not allowed. <laughs> that is not allowed. Hundred percent. You don't like to use the sexy P as a reliable source. Is there like another source, Photon? Not that I'm gonna look at it because I don't I don't fucking care. But like, is there like another source? <laughs> Hey, new Mamoru, I'm right here with you. <laughs> okay, hold on, let's do this here. Three hours into the operation. Oh my god, he's in here for three hours? Holy fuck. Lan, why don't you take a break? Let's go outside and get some fresh air. No, I should be here for Mamoru. I know, but you need to take a breather. Let's try to stay patient, Lan. I'm sure the operation will be a success. 
I swear to God. I swear if the world 3 attacks right now. This hospital is fucked. <laughs> if they do, it, they, they're fucked. They've already got like HIPAA violations up the ass. Alright, let's step outside for a minute. Yeah? A panel connected to the operating room's network. The port is blocked off for maintenance. Which implies you can normally jack into it. Yeah? <laughs> the, the port next to a clean room operating room. Yes. The operation is taking a long time. Who the, who the fuck are you? Are you related? The HPD operation will take some time. Why don't you go outside and take a little breather? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, concern. Do I know about the story of Danger Dolan? I do not. <laughs> I do not, Split Gear. Bang! Ka clunk! What was that? The elevator stopped. Okay, that's concerning. This is why I don't take elevators. It's moving again, Lan. What's going on? Oh, f oh shit, yeah, of course. Of course. What in the world happened? Attention, attention! Land the intercom. Please remain calm. Mysterious vines have sprouted from the Tree of Life. Due to the vines, most of the medical devices within the hospital have stopped working. Explain that. <laughs> stopped working? Mamoru is in the middle of surgery. Everyone, please evacuate the building at once. Repeat, please evacuate immediately. Oh, I see split gear. Okay, I see. We're gonna see this coming. Yeah, what's up, Blastum? How you doing? <laughs> oh no, Lan, we've gotta help Mamoru. Let's go. Vines and sharp thorns are blocking the way. This sucks, I can't fucking gamble. I mean, I have to save the I have to save the kid, right? Yeah, okay, yep. Yep. And the emergency exit's closed, of course. I guess we go up. Oh hey kid. Whoa, where's my sister? This is your fault, dude. Should we get out? The emergency exit and elevators. Nothing's working. How are we gonna get out of here? Well, the vines are here too, huh? The VA for a pink cat girl got harassed so much by people horny for the character she disappeared off the internet. Oh my god. Jesus. That's why you have to draw boundaries, you know? That's why. Oh dear, I've been separated from my son. What will I do? Oh, there's no way out from here either? That window is open, but we're on the second floor. Oh no! There's a full view of the seas and ocean from this room. Sunlight reflects off the ocean in shimmering patterns. Boundaries are very important, yes. 100 fucking percent. I, I feel like, like, so I, I watch Rev sometimes with, uh, do his, um, Am I the Asshole readings, right? That one Reddit. And, uh, I don't like most of that's fake, but, like, it's astonishing how many problems could be solved if you just fucking talk, you know? Just, just talk. And, like, be clear about things. Man, how annoying. When I try to go past those vines, one of the thorns put a big rip in my skirt. Don't you dare go behind me. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I'm not. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, no thanks. The vines are here too? What's going on in the operating room? Oh, it's you. Nurse, what's happening in there? What's happening in the operating room? The operation room devices are still functioning. But the vines are just about to enter into the room. H how? Like, through the vents? Because, like, the doors are pretty fucking tight, right? I hope. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Through the magic of magic. Yeah. The Tree of Life's growth system may be malfunctioning. <laughs> Why do you have a tree? <laughs> Your fucking rich ass hospital ass needs to have a tree in this hospital. This is what you get. This is what you get. For <laughs> for being for spending your budget. Your Your oh, I skipped the dialogue. Shit. Okay, that's fine. We're going into the uh, the, the tree. Yeah, okay. I tried to pause it, I was so angry. This this is what happens when you spend your budget on superfluous shit instead of like the actual hospital, right? Like why'd you have to maintain a tree here? Like what is it doing for you? It's doing nothing! It's doing absolutely fucking nothing! <laughs> to need the tree of life chooses death, yes. So this is the hospital's computer, it looks strange. Okay, but making the hospital look nice and welcoming to the patients is important too. I mean, just... Just, just have plants? Like, of a normal nature? You don't have to make it unique, you know? Like, I, I like a nice, like... You know... Set of, like, roses, you know? I mean, those are thorny, but like... You know, just, just small trees, shrubbery, succulents, you know? Just, just do that! It's cheaper, probably. Hurry and unlock the emergency exit security lock. Roger. Okay. So the trees exist in cyberspace, too. A digit plant created when the growth system went berserk. It looks like it can be burned away using strong flame. Okay. This music's fucking weird. <laughs> Oil body. What the hell is this? Oil body Navi cust. Oh, do I have to use this? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Attracts fire viruses. Well, maybe we don't, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Because I don't really want to deal with those. Your f that feel when you're a Sithy Rot becomes a Quill Rot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. That feel. Mega Man getting oiled up? Do not oil up Mega Man. That's inappropriate. And you can die as well. Easy peasy. Okay, so we got various trees, but we have to get like fire somewhere. Oh, it's Mr. Prog. This is terrible. A sudden outbreak of digit plants has caused the hospital computers to stop working. So I can restart the systems by removing the digit plants? I think so. So you're going to help us by removing them? Yes, if you know how it can be done. The digit plants can be removed using my energy change... Charge... Ch change? Engi change? I think. It can be used to change battle chips into power. If a fire chip is converted, you can shoot fire which should burn away the digit plants. Oh, I see. To do this, load the energy charge into yourself, and then press the A button when on or in front of a digit plant. The energy change will then execute. Change battle chip will be used up, so please be careful. I'm counting on you. Okay, interesting. 
So I need to install this, huh? Fire water chips the energy, okay. Oh my god, I think I use up slots here. God damn it. There we go. That would be such a pain in the ass to arrange if I didn't have the uh, the, the bug stop. Thank god. Wait, I'm oiled up! Are you ready to file this fight in some damn viruses? <laughs> Have it says, are the events inside the digital world happening in real time as presented, or is it really fast like real computers? So, so the concept of net battles hap is is a thing. Have it, and those happen in real time, um, like with the competitions, right? So this is all real time, I believe. That's that's what I choose to believe. Because everything is human, you know. Everything, everything, you know, that Mega Man does is guided by the operator. So land. Okay, so I need to get fire chips, huh? Okay. I've got plenty of those, but I'd rather not use up all of mine. I think Totem is fire, so that'll work out. Uh, let me see what's in my uh, my folder. Hold on. I think I'll just take stuff from my folder here. I definitely don't want to use a Magnum or that. We can use some Totems, though. Because I think I'm okay with that. Oh, some of these heat shots, too. That's fine, too. None of the rare shit. Oh, okay, you get to choose. Okay, never mind. Cool. Uh, so let's pick a. Oh, it chooses from your uh, your pack. Okay, one second. Let me uh rearrange that again then. Yeah, this world's kind of fucked up. If it wasn't clear. There's, uh, there's weird stuff that happens here. In this weird-ass world. Okay. Let's use that. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool. So we can go back down here use this. We should probably use what we can get here, so totems. Alrighty, cool. Oh my god, I, there's a lot of trees. Oh fuck. Oh god. Gotta get a lot of chips here. Burn to the ground? Yeah, burn to the ground. <laughs> we are burning things to the ground, specifically trees. I guess Mega Man hates the environment. Yep, more totems. Okay, so it's gonna be totems that carries me through here. This is... what the hell is that? It was like the control panel for the emergency exit. If we can restore this to normal... Ugh, a virus shot out of the control panel! A viney, what the hell is that? Is that only damageable by fire? I bet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, alright. Easy enough. Lan, I fixed the emergency exit system. Let's look for a way out. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're like jacking the stuff inside the net. Yeah, it's like recursive jacking. Okay, so let's go to the first floor. No, it's still blocked off.
Was there another emergency exit? I wonder. Let's look for a way out. I mean, this is still blocked, the first floor. So... Hmm. Hmm hmm. I think I might have missed something here. Hold on. Hey, Auburn of the Raid, thank you. How you doing? How was that Necro Dancer? I think you're doing some variety runs. Still gotta beat Chanter myself, because holy shit. <laughs> Chanter's way too hard. Hey, Winner Ben Yuka, what's up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm Luigi Guy, I play lots of random stuff. I play Necro Dancer sometimes. Um, but yeah, I play a lot of things. I um, play Battle Network, which is a pretty cool strategy game, on uh, Tuesdays. You did the Darth Maul thing of Clarinetta, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're trying to. So right now, if you're curious about this, the plot of this game, we are trying to. How should I describe it? Um, we're in a hospital, and this hospital has a giant tree of life, they call it, that's supported by like machines, probably. Um, and there's also this kid that we're friends with that is in surgery. So the tree went berserk. There are vines everywhere, so we can't get to the emergency room. And um, yeah, we're dealing with that. We're trying to like, we're trying to go into the internet here and uh, try and fix the tree problem. If that made any sense to you, you'll like this. <laughs> if not, you'll also like this too. We are also an elementary school child, saving the world's problems. Yep. That's this series. You really want to try this series? It's really good, Winter Bit. The first game is uh, pretty basic, but once you get to three, this game, it is crazy, crazy deep. Because you have like a whole bunch of different chips, which is what I'm using to attack, right? You play one step from Eden, okay, so you know what's going on. But there's like cool customization stuff with uh, Mega Man in this, where... Let me see here. If you go here, you can like customize, um... Like you can put in like different stuff into Mega Man. It's sort of like a... It's kind of like inventory Tetris, but with like upgrades. So you can give him more attack, or like, you know, uh, some plot-specific stuff. More speed. You can make uh, enemies of different types show up quicker, or more frequently. Lots of cool stuff. This is like really good system. You give yourself more health too. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like Uprising, yeah, pretty much. It's like that. It's really cool stuff. Recover 120. Oh, okay, that's healing. Cool. Okay, so we're done here, I think. So let's jack out. Find a way out. What to jack into somewhere? Let's see. It's no use. This game is also good for people who hate um, <laughs> some aspects of modern technology, because you will um, you'll hate some of the things that happen in this game <laughs> and how incompetent these so-called network security professionals are in this series. Wait, we, we had access to this window already, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, I guess now, not now, okay. This window's open. This is the second floor. And the ocean's below. Well, and you can't. Oh, yes I can, kid. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh no, land, no. This is, a, this is an awful idea, don't do it. 
You don't have air shoes in real life. This is an emergency! There's no time to hesitate! Bombs away! Roger! Ah! Oh, okay, there's water, okay. <laughs> Good. <sighs> oh, we made it to the shore! Mega Man, are you okay? Also, patients can do that. You might want to secure those windows a little bit. Hospital. Didn't the internet terrorists try to kill people by using internet connected washing machines to bubble people to death? Yeah, yeah, um, they had dishwashers that encased people in bubbles, and the bubbles exploded after some amount of time. Yep. Our future, everyone. I'm fine. Thanks to Dad's pet case. Oh, they. Oh, Mega Man's got like the, um. The military grade, like, you know. Like phone cases. Heavy duty. I didn't feel a thing. Come on, let's find an entrance to the basement. Right. Which was, uh, over here. Let me hydrate with salt water. One second. Because we're at the ocean. It's not salt water. <laughs> it's not. Oh, Leon, you're here! Something terrible is happening outside! Inside, rather. So why are you dripping wet? I'm dripping alright, kid. I got drip. I'm sorry, we have no idea what's going on either. Please, just wait until the officials get here. Hey, what's going on? My wife is still inside! Do your job and sort it out! Shut the fuck up, entitled asshole. That was close! If I'd been any slower out of the hospital, I'd be locked inside with the others by now. <laughs> Gamer trip, yeah. Kill him. I wish I could kill some people in this game, I swear. It's locked! Let's get a key from someone. <sighs> okay. Front desk? Yeah, here we go. What? The key to the basement? Yes, I do have it, but... Please, I just want to borrow it! I can jack into the growth system from the basement. That's a fucking sentence. <laughs> yes, but... <sighs> okay, I've decided. There's nothing I can do anyways. It's up to you. Stop that tree from causing more damage. So is there, like, a hotline you can call if there's, like, net crimes? Cause I don't see any fucking, like, you know, net police here. What's happening? These plant vines are blocking me! My daughter is still inside. Somebody please do something! They got those official net powers, but where are they? Where are they? What will I do? My kid sister's lost! Everyone! Conditions are unpredictable! Please wait outside! My mother's still in there. I shouldn't have left her! Hold on. <laughs> hey, they give me access to this again. Alright. <laughs> yeah, let me just do this during a fucking crisis. Yeah. <laughs> Gambling addiction continues. My friend is dying and I'm gambling. I shouldn't be doing this. This is what I have turned Lan into. It's a, a, a habitual gambler. This one sucks. I don't, I don't know why I keep coming back to this one. It's a 25% chance each time. Awful. Speaking of killing people, this guy. This guy's ripped me off so hard. Here's a better one. There we go. Another holy panel. Okay. I'll take it. My friend is dying. I, I, I know, I know, I know. 
I'm just, I'm just trying to get my friend another chip, you know. Once the, uh, once, once the whole crisis is reserved, I feel fucking yeah. Wan should not be doing this. Come on. Look at these vines. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. This is what must be causing all the trouble. Lan, jack me in! Hold on, Mamaru! Alright, Mega Man! Jack- Wait! The elevator's moving! How? It was just broken a moment ago! I can't seem to find that Tetra code! Where could it be? Hey you! What are you doing? Hey, just what do you think you're doing? What? I came to root out all these vines from all over the hospital! You mean these vines that I so carefully grew? You must be a Net Society spy, aren't you? A Net Society spy? What are you talking about? Whatever, just put a stop to those vines. Okay, right, sure. You can trust me, right? I think I'm so dumb I'll listen to a Net Society spy. This hospital deserves to be destroyed. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. My friend's in the middle of an operation. If these vines don't stop, he could die. Some sacrifices must be made to preserve Mother Nature. Bioterrorism moment. <laughs> yep, absolutely. That's what Wily always says. Wily? So you work for the World 3? That's right. The World 3 will destroy the Net Society. I, I like how, like, she immediately fucking blew her cover. It's the only way to preserve nature. Preserve nature? Yeah, right. Wily's just using you. Weep. Aneta, do not be fooled. Lord of Wily warned us. Net Society people are all liars. I know, Plant Man. I won't let this kid fool me! Wily has her totally brainwashed. Man, she won't listen to a word we say. Plant Man, sprout out some more vines, okay? I'm gonna look around some more for the Tetra Code. Stop right there! The vines are spreading. If you don't stop Plant Man, your friend will be in trouble. Mega Man, she's right. You have to jack in. Okay. Can someone call the cops, please? Yeah, this is the Wily split gear, yeah. Alright, so we gotta burn through everything here. Yeah, we should kill her. <laughs> yeah. We absolutely fucking should. Oh, Mr. Frog! Hey! Hello. I must talk to all of these guys. Hold on. Three weeds at the very back. Very back. Okay. Thank you. Sit back and win. <laughs> Best chip ever. You love the frog friend? Yeah, he's uh, he's called Mr. Frog. I love them. They're so cute. They basically um, the Mr. Frogs. Yeah, we gotta move them too. Yeah. The Mr. Frogs are basically, you know, they're 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 basically like you know low level programs all over the net. They run your your microwaves and stuff like that. They're good lads. Hey, Suraman, what's up? How you doing? Good to see ya. They're just little fellas, yeah. All right, more HP, cool. Uh, 
What is this? Oh, the burn these, I guess. Okay, hold on. Let me get some more fire. One sec. I think I need to kill... Like, riddle me this, people who know this game. How do you, like, choose what chip you get from battles? Is it random from the enemies, or is it, like, the last thing you kill? I don't remember. It's random? Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, Condor. <laughs> <laughs> Condor is pretty good, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and add these for more chips. Getting to choose Omega Wall, yeah. I guess not. Oh, that kind of sucks. Okay, I can probably yeah. Let me rat this dude. Okay, that's good enough. Have my rat. If I knew I needed fire, I would have granted for fire. Uh, Flashman three into just busters. You hated farming fire chips for this part. I'm gonna need a lot of those, aren't I? <laughs> I can tell. A lot of fire chips. Maybe not too many, but still, it's... It's chips out of my inventory. Not the greatest thing. Oh, oops, that's the, that's the duck button, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. I accidentally ducked. Oh, you fucker! Oh god. What's up, Karis? How you doing? It's still stuck to having to give your chips away, yeah. I mean, I haven't really been using fire chips too much. Like, I haven't built my stuff around that. So, they're kind of expendable to me. Shit. You're glad we appreciate ducks. My entire thing is fucking ducks. <laughs> it's ducks, rather. That's my entire thing. You found something. Okay, I got another, I got another heat thing. Yeah, I had to correct my sentence there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, is the rest of this nothing? I probably shouldn't use that. You found a recovery panel under the digivines. Oh shit. You recover 100 HP? Can I use it again? No? Your GF refuses to be your physical representation for your I-9? That's fucked, I'm sorry to hear that. It's kinda messed up. Is that like a relatively simple thing? We do have a duck sound effects if you're curious. <laughs> oh, government style stuff? Okay, I see. You found a switch under the digivines. Mega Man flipped the switch. The door opened. Oh, hell yeah, okay. It's probably something else though, hold on. Two heat shot chips, okay, and just for good measure. Let's we'll just clear out all this crap. Oh shit, god damn it! Okay, <laughs> fuck. Okay, it's 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 still good, it's fine, it's fine. We can always get some chips from these guys. Alright, uh row attacks will not help here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use those. 
This game also has a thing called styles where you will get different styles based on your play style. So right now, I have something called the bug style, which I got because I bugged the I I bugged out Mega Man by like incorrectly placing the uh, the upgrade chips. So every battle I get um I get two beneficial bugs and one negative bug. It's really fun. <laughs> I think I'll get another style soon. Because... You get them after like X so many battles, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna use a uh, sneak run, hold on, just for now. Where the hell was that gate? I forgot. Oh hey, what the fuck? Who's the bad guy here? This guy, Plant Man. Um, and his operator. Who is another one of Lord Wily's henchmen? Henchwoman, rather. Anilla, the Tetra code is hidden in the operating room program. I'm hanging there now. And don't worry, just do everything I tell you. Plant Man! You must be Mega Man. You have sharp, spotless eyes. <sighs> Fucking weird, dude. Pure as budding new leaves and bursting with life. You're as flawless as your reputation. Plant Man, stop these viruses from spreading. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for you now. I must enter the operating room program and steal the Tetra <laughs> I must do the evil thing and I will tell you everything evil I'm doing. Enter the operating room program? If you do that, Mamoru will... I won't allow it. I'm gonna stop you right now! Get it, Mega Man! You're young and foolish. You will live longer if you learn to be more relaxed like the giant trees of the forest. Here I come, Plant Man! Very well. Come, my servants! Bring me Mega Man's head! It's one guy. <laughs> it's one guy. You know, see how your one guy works against this. Get the fuck out of here! Get out! Where's Plant Man? Looks like he ran away. Plan, let's hurry back to the operating room. Right, jacking out! Okay, I missed some stuff there for sure, but I can go back. This game loves decapitation, and also defenestration now. Add that to the list. Yeah. Supply pipes for energy and nutrients. They were roughly disconnected. And somehow the tree is healthier. Okay. Pipes that supply the tree of huge volumes of water. Ow. They're like a lifeline for the tree of life. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Okay, so we're going to the operating room. Right, okay. Actually, uh, is the vine. Are the vines like gone now? Up there? Let's see. It was that easy, yeah. Oh, they're gone, okay. Bang, bang, bang! Mamoru! Mamoru! Who's there? How's Mamoru? Is he alright? The surgery equipment suddenly stopped working! The lock on this door won't open! We're stuck inside! If we don't do something soon, Mamoru could die! Is there anything I can do to help? Do you see the control panel on the side of this door? It's connected to this operating room. If you could jack into it and remove the bug, we may be able to continue with the operation. I'll see what I can do. Plan Man probably did this. Let's hurry, Lan. Alright. This is a loop, yeah, every single time. They could have used a different loop, you know, just compose another two second loop. It'd be a lot better. Mamoru is our, uh, we made a friend in the hospital, and we gave him, like, a, a rare chip because, uh, he was having anxiety about, like, going through a 
a really just like another operation basically because he's been in the hospital since like a kid he was a kid rather he's our friend and we're trying to save him basically fuck i missed god damn it mamaru is our buddy these night guys are great they give you good chips still also, die. <laughs> Alrighty, um, let's see. Another heat chip, cool. Nine weeds, middle row, middle row, middle row. Oh, I see what he's saying, okay. Let's see what you're saying, dude. You gotta go? Alright, sounds good, have a bit. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you have a good whatever it is you're doing. Uh step cross will hit them both. Let's see here. Wait, not anymore, but. Oh you fucker. Yeah, have a good one, have Ebbit. Thanks for stopping by. You have a clear blue toy of the night, Split Gear? That's cool. Was it always the middle? Okay. Oh, there's, I cannot burn all these vines. There's probably stuff there in the future, so I can go back. I mean, there's probably stuff there, so I can just go back there later. I hope. This better not disappear when I'm gone. When I'm done with the scenario. To that effect, let me, uh, let me just take a little bit of a, uh, a thingy here. There we go. Just a little thingy. Nothing suspicious. It's a harmless little state. Okay, it's a virus. Yep, alright. So was that the wrong one, I guess? Uh-oh. Am I really gonna have to burn all those? I don't want to. Yes, doing that burn uses up the chip, Karis. Yeah, so you gotta be careful. You gotta be real careful. Okay, attack the vine to hit it. Interesting. I'm trying to aim this. Let's see. Ah, damn it. Ow, oh, oh god, I'm weak to this. Oh god. Oh. Alright, just get out of here. Probably should have picked health thirst, but that's fine. Oh, does it doesn't attack the vine? Oh shit. Okay, that kind of sucks. Super hard. Ah, oh god. Fucking yikes. I did not burn up a, a rare ship, it just told us- it just told me it was, that was gonna happen, so... I didn't make any mistakes. Oh, and the rat is a targeted either, god damn it! Nothing targets those vines for some reason. Jesus Christ, okay. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I need some just better raw power. Slasher is what we need to use, yeah. Hold on. Cause it just attacks anything on our full on our board if I don't get hit while using it. Oh 
Good lord, dude. Get out of here! Good lord! Almost killed me in, like, this one guy. This one guy almost killed me. Jesus. Does- Das is thou desire the power, I desire all the power. Yes. Being like it's probably not the best idea, it's fine. I don't want to lose my bug style. Fire does pierce them, yeah, it looks like. That's what happened the last time. Uh, okay, Burner will kill the totem. Just double damage, yeah, it's fine. I got I got healing chips, it's okay. I got health. I gotta figure out some sick combos with my chips at some point. Something like that. Okay, where the hell am I going? Uh I think the vine on the right has something special, probably. Let's see if Slasher works on these guys. I hope it does it. I hope it does. Can you not? Can you, can you not? Slasher doesn't work? What? Slasher does not work against those vines. Are you kidding me? That is BS. Why though? I guess I'll do normal style, it's fine. I'm gonna miss the bugs, but it's alright. Middle row, is, is this the row? That procs in middle row. That's nothing. Like, what's a row in isometric space? Okay, there's the warp point, okay. Now, more stuff to burn. Burn all the things. I'm running out of fire chips, oh god. The vines would be much less annoying if stuff actually targeted it, you know? Like, properly. Uh, custom sword could be go. Let me get rid of these uh these cannons. Oh right, I don't have a shield. Right, okay, no bugs. Oh my, oh my god, these guys! <laughs> oh my god, please, please. Okay, custom sword's not gonna reach uh the back dude, but that's fine. Whoa, 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 buddy, buddy. I never saw them do that before. <laughs> Good lord. This is, this is an interesting, like, way to do this stage, at least. Where you use chips, but, like... When I say it's engaging, I don't know. <laughs> it makes you fight stuff, I guess. Alright, another virus. Please kill the viney. That's all I that's all I want right now. Okay, I missed the viney, but sure. Don't you dare. Do not don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, 
don't know if this is gonna work. I don't think so, at least. You could probably beast me on a vine when it comes out. I think I missed. <laughs> yeah, I think I missed, actually. Or it just didn't do damage, because one of them did hit it. For Salamander, you have to throw it inside a hole. So I have to make a hole on the board. Wow, these, these are just not good for this enemy. Any of my chips here. I should actually put some fire chips in, probably. Alright, come on, come on, come on. There we go, finally! <laughs> oh my god. There we go. So this is the prime fire chip farming spot, at least. Oh man. Shit, I gotta farm now. I don't, I don't want to use any more chips here. I think Lux style is actually uh, still better here. Despite the weakness. With those plants specifically. You are not fire, guys. Come on. Cause he can do that with bug style. Super fast clears. So how are you everyone? <laughs> Guess what? There's another heat wave this week. You know how every week it just seems like there's heat? I, I just talk about it, right? Just another one. Don't you- don't you love it? <laughs> I don't love it here. I have no AC. You're tired? Yeah? I'm a little tired. I was gonna, um... I think I was gonna play Switch Sports after the stream, because I want that punk set that they've got in that game. Hopefully the- the heat wave- I thought you said- I thought you said Microwave Arc, Mantis. <laughs> the Woogie Microwave Arc. <laughs> Alright. Pop your vines out. Ah, too slow, damn it. Too slow. Oh, wait, let me anti totem you, hold on. Good, okay, yeah, totem's the way to go against those guys. Let me put some totems in my uh, my deck. Those, those plant dudes. We're all ants in God's microwave. Guess what? Ants don't get affected by microwaves. If you put an ant in a microwave, it doesn't do shit to them. Funny, right? They're too small for the waves. The microwave arc is afterwards. What do you mean, Mantis? What do you mean? What do you mean, afterwards? Should I be afraid? I'm gonna stop uh, pretty soon, so we're not gonna finish the entire arc right now, but maybe I'll come back, uh... Maybe I'll come back on Thursday and just do a short stream of the rest of this. Okay, Salamander sucks, I'm gonna put up Tomid. What other totem types do I have? Let's see. I don't think we have any other ones. Oop, hold on. A Pico wave? <laughs> Why do we need a microwave that small though? Like, what's the what's the purpose? Wait here. 
What's the, uh, what's the use case? For ants? But, but, but why do you need a microwave ants? What, what did the ants do to you? What did, the, what did the insects do to you? Okay, I need to put that uh that fire thing on probably because we are not getting fire enemies here. They've had it good for too long, Jesus. That's mean. <laughs> That's just mean. What did he? <laughs> They didn't hurt you, right? Why do you gotta be mean to them? <laughs> uh, oil body, okay. Okay, we're gonna oil ourselves up here. Let's go. Uh, charge is fine, I don't use charge. Okay, hold on. Uh, oil, move that piece up here. There we go. Can I fit an attack? I don't think I can. Unless I shift these pieces. Like that. Move that down. Oh, no, I still can't. Okay. Uh, let's put on speeds then. Why not? Speed's always nice. Speed and one charge. There we go. Whatever strategy you think will work, Harris. I don't know if that's gonna work, but... Maybe it will. Alright, so Mega Man's all oiled up. Let's see here. Will it actually help, I wonder? I guess so, we got sorties. Beast Man with Custom Sword. We can Meta Gel as well, just to push him back. There we go. Ah, three towels, not two. Come on. Oh no! Ah, the, the damage! The damage fucked my Custom Sword. Oh no. The custom sword gets more powerful once the like based on the gauge at the top. But if it hits the max it becomes zero damage. So you gotta If you want big damage, you gotta hit the last pixel. And I can't suck at these fights either, because then I don't get chips. That's the thing. I think I know what I need to do before next stream. <laughs> I've got a hunch. J just a little hunch. Just a little bit. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to stop here. Because uh, I don't want to use any more of my fire chips. And I need to grind for some more. So, yeah. Uh, I'll probably be back. Um... Oh. Oh, follow. Oh, shit. Two follower bots. Oh, my God. Two of them. <laughs> Yo, we've been blessed today with the double. Holy fuck. Alright, everyone, everyone, we always do this with bots. You add them and laugh. That's all you do. We have to laugh. <laughs> there you go. It's the, uh, the ceremonious... The ceremonial rites before they get banned. <laughs> oh my god. These motherfuckers. Double sacrifice, yep. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do it on camera, too. Hold on. Here, let me- let me show you. Alright, you fuckers. Yeah, we're gonna bonk them, yeah. You- you too. Both of you. Out. Out. <laughs> Daddy claps. Yeah, nice username. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get out. Live execution, yes. Live execution. God bless. Alright, so um, I'll be probably back tomorrow, actually, um, with this. 
just to close out this, this scenario, so you won't have to wait for too long, alright? Um, so yeah, bonus stream, short stream tomorrow, I guess, just to finish this, but I do need to get more fire shifts, definitely. Um, but it is getting a little bit late, so I am going to call it here for today. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Auburn, for the raid once again. Um, yeah, and we'll finish this scenario tomorrow, alright? Sound good? Sound good, I think. Sounds good. Alrighty. So yeah, let's get out of here. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Again, outro art is by 8-Bit Beetle. And uh, yeah, so we got fan art here. Uh, let me see if there's any new fan art today. And uh, thanks everyone for stopping by. Hope you had fun. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to stream too late because uh, I don't want people to, uh, to, to neglect sleep. Or go to bed and miss stuff too. So... Yep, uh, there's no art today. If you have art, you can post it on the brew. Just make an account. Uh, if you upload something, it has to be approved. Which I still need to update the website just to say in bold text that that happens. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Yep. Oh, whoa, voice crack. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's how I know I have to stop. That's how I know. That's how I know. Um, but yeah, uh, let me see who's live. Oh, schedule, by the way. Schedule for this week. Schedule, schedule. Don't leave just yet. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Okay, schedule. Uh, let me get the one from Twitter because it's more up to date. One second. I might be wondering why I'm gonna put this on the screen right here. I've been wondering, right? We got Splatoon. What's going on in Splatoon this week, huh? Well, uh, this Saturday is the Splatfest, the first one, the, uh, the test fire for, uh, Splatoon 3. Yep. So that's actually gonna be Saturday, we're gonna, we're gonna skip Yakuza for a week because, because the Splatfest is for 12 hours on Saturday. So, I'm not sure you for 12 hours on Saturday, but I'm gonna check it out a little bit and then probably play with some other folks, um, offline. But, yep. Uh, so we're gonna do, uh, Bound Network tomorrow. Uh, Thursday we'll have something else as well, I'm not entirely sure what yet. I'll probably just leave it to a poll. Maybe you guys want to see some Splatoon D Rust in two. Maybe something else. I'll see how I feel. And then, uh, yep, Saturday is the Splatfest. And then Sunday, we are going to do two things. Uh, one, uh, I'm going to have a behind the scenes little thing around, like, um, I did like a reboot a while back. And I have like a shit ton of concept art that I want to show off and just talk about, like, why I did the reboot, I guess. So. Behind the scenes, cool art stuff on Sunday, and then we're also gonna do the Wily stages in uh, Mega Man 8. So, yep, there's your schedule. You can find it on Twitter um, at this link if you forget. Right there. Uh, but yeah, let's see who's live. Um, and while I do that, have a duck, actually. Have a duck. You guys want a duck? Again, you gotta stay around for the ducks. That's what I always do. Probably show a duck at the start, too. Probably should. For the early comers, too. Pretty, uh, pretty standard duck photo today. I have to, like, categorize them now as, like, standard, but, yeah. Just some friends here. The, uh, the lighter car one is actually my, my super friend. Like, this, that duck actually recognizes me. Swims over to me when I, uh, when it sees me. It's cute. <laughs> yep, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. There you go. Alright, uh, let me see here. Take a look. What are people doing? Okay, um, I'm gonna send you guys over to... Let's go raid clowns. Play some Elden Ring, actually. Uh, first playthrough, it looks like? Yeah. The title of the stream is called Praying I Can Make Progress Before the Game Crashes. Oh, boy. Uh, we haven't raided clowns in a bit. Clowns is cool. I like them. They are... They stream a lot of, like, I think modern stuff, actually. Uh, I think they were recently doing... Let me see here. I forgot the game they were doing the other day. Um, what was it? I think DMC, right? I think they were playing DMC 5. <laughs> yep. Ow, oh my god. The bongs are intense. 
Yeah, thank you, Winterbit. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Um, yeah, so sticking around for the raid, go ahead and throw some ducks in the raid chat, as, as always. We have the Pog. You can use your own duck emotes, or just the duck emoji. Both are in chat right there. And uh, if you want to use your own emotes, that's fine too. You don't have to use just ducks. If you want to use Auburn emotes, go ahead. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see everyone tomorrow for the rest of the scenario. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you then. Not too much to talk about there, alright? Yep. See you guys.